Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease which can cause inflammation of any part of the digestive system from the mouth to the anus. It is a chronic condition, meaning it is lifelong with periods of good health and periods of relapse. It is unpredictable when a flare-up may occur. Crohn's disease can occur at any age but is most often diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 30. The exact cause of the disease is unknown. However, a combination of factors may cause the development of the condition. These can include a genetic predisposition, environmental influences, and an abnormal reaction to certain bacteria in the intestine. Crohn's disease is diagnosed when one or more patches of inflammation occur in between normal areas of intestine. It is categorised according to the part of the digestive system affected. The upper digestive system includes the mouth, which is known as oral Crohn's disease, the esophagus, stomach and duodenum, known as gastroduodenal Crohn's disease, and the small intestine, known as ileitis and jejunoileitis. The lower digestive system includes the large intestine, which is known as colitis, and the rectum and anus, known as anal or perianal Crohn's disease. The most common form, ileocolitis, occurs at the junction between the small and large intestine. The walls or lining of the digestive system are made up of multiple layers. Inflammation in Crohn's disease can occur through the full thickness of the intestine wall and is responsible for the symptoms of Crohn's disease. These symptoms can range from mild to severe and can include abdominal pain, diarrhoea, tiredness, raised temperature or fever, mouth ulcers, loss of appetite, weight loss, and reduced red blood cells or anemia. Crohn's can also affect other parts of the body, such as inflammation in the joints, liver, eyes and skin. Ulcers and lesions are common signs of damage. In severe cases of the disease, inflammation can cause scarring to the lining of the intestine. This can sometimes lead to additional problems such as strictures, ulcers, abscesses, and fistulas. As the scar tissue builds up, part of the intestine can narrow, forming a stricture. This narrowing can make it harder for waste to pass through and may ultimately lead to an obstruction. In 10 to 30% of patients, the inflammation extends deep into the wall of the intestine and an abscess can form. Over time, ulcers or abscesses can create abnormal connections between the intestine and occasionally other organs. These connections, called fistulas, allow waste and other infectious material to travel to parts of the body where it does not belong, often leading to pockets of infection. Although there is currently no known cure, a number of treatments are available to manage the disease and reduce the signs and symptoms helping those affected to live normal and productive lives.